it's actually a camera in the back. You can zoom into the hitch to see if you're right on the bolt. Get out of here. You know how sometimes when you look back and you're like, is everything strapped down good or is all our stuff still there? What? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for an exciting one, a big announcement, man. My wife and I were hit up by a big auto manufacturing company. You guys will know the brand here in just a moment. And they, you know, back and forth through emails over the last couple weeks wanted to send us a truck to have some fun and maybe do some camping vids for you guys, a little bit of traveling. They just said, have fun with this thing. We're gonna take this on some fishing trips for you guys. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Pretty pumped. Uh, I don't know what we should do with this, by the way. Drop comments down below once you see it, what you think we should do with this truck. I saw a review on this thing and like, one one of them had speakers in the tailgate, like a Bluetooth stereo system and like a power outlet right there in the tailgate. So it's like the ultimate tailgating pickup truck. I've seen prices for this truck over $80,000 and we're just excited to take delivery of it here in just a few minutes. So we will see y'all here in just a second, as soon as they knock on the door. Ooh. Hey, I think it might be the diesel. No way. Marshmallow, new truck. Milo, new truck. Max, new truck. Z, new truck. King, new truck's on the way, buddy. New truck's coming. What's going on, y'all? This is the diesel, okay. Dude, this is sick. Weston. Yeah, how you doing? Good. Good morning. Francisco, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Do I need to sign anything or just, uh, he's, <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you guys. Check this thing out. Hold on a second. Look, they hooked it up with the auto start, the Tundra. It's got this, but it's not, it's not nearly as cool on the Tundra. Like it starts beeping at you. And anytime you hit a button on the remote, it, st it stops. It's like the unnecessary engine cycle. The remote start on this next level. Let me take you inside this thing. So like if I were to have remote started the Tundra, it would have just turned off when you opened it up. Not the Denali, dude, this thing is sick. By the way, it's a GMC Sierra Denali 2500 with like the extra, I think it's like $9,700. It's like a $10,000 option basically to get the diesel engine. We were about to tow the hot tamale like y'all have never seen. I might have to like try and go steal Lunker's TV's boat, get even like a larger boat to haul with this thing to really max out some capacity here. Actually, that wouldn't even be scratching the surface. Yeah, do we need to get an RV or what? You got two glove boxes, like what? what is life? All right, let's take this thing somewhere, give you guys a tour. We're gonna get the dog out. We're gonna grab the boat. We're gonna do some fishing, but first things first, I wanna show you all about this beauty. Look at the rear view mirror, it's the camera. Um, where's the button? This is definitely the one that's priced at like 80 grand. Sick. <laughs> Obviously we cannot thank you guys enough for this opportunity. None of this would be possible without y'all. We don't own this truck, but we're gonna go ahead and take care of it for the next couple weeks. We're gonna have some fun with it. The Tundra's gonna be just sitting in the driveway right there looking pretty. And uh, yeah, thank you to GMC as well. You know, without you guys, the opportunity would not have come about. So we appreciate them loaning us this bad boy. I mean, it's just got, it's just got it all. It's just got it all. Pretty sick, y'all. Feels good knowing that hard work pays off. We're gonna go ahead and take you guys somewhere and really show this thing off for you. Okay, first things first, I had to run over to Lowe's, y'all, because guess what? Our tow hitch receiver on the Tundra is like two inch, and on this thing, it's two and a half inch. So I had to get this adapter. Check me out, the tow hitch on this truck well, it's, it actually didn't have one, but the tow hitch on our truck, it ain't gonna fly. It just ain't gonna work. So I got this adapter, it's supposed to fill in the gap, keep it nice and sturdy for the hot tamale. Luckily, both trucks have like a 21 inch drop from the receiver down to the ground. So the six inch drop hitch that we have is perfect for it. So I'm gonna toss this on real quick. Okay, feeling good. Seems a little sketchy. I think I might put that bad boy on backwards. Okay, that, although neither of them are like flawless, definitely better than it was. We finally made it out to showcase the beautiful GMC, man. Loaded Denali 2500 HD with the diesel engine. I mean, the thing is off the chain. Duramax 6.6 .6 liter with the Allison transmission. So apparently this Allison transmission thing's a big deal. It's like a 10 speed automatic kick ass type of transmission. So it's there. Uh, the daytime running lights are sick, much brighter lights than the Tundra. Like the Tundra, we can barely see at night. We do have like 35% tint on the front windshield, which is not supposed to be a thing, but Despite that, the headlights are like 
so much more powerful. I was on the way home last night and it was literally like auto brights. You know how like some cars will do the auto high beams these days? Our previous BMW had it. This thing's got it. Those things are off the chain. I was just cruising down the back roads. They turn on. If oncoming cars are coming at you, they automatically turn off. Pretty sick. We're going to miss a lot of stuff and I'm always pretty fast paced and I lose my mind like with this ADHD thing. So we're not going to cover everything on this truck, you guys. I'm just going to cover some highlights and uh, some things that are different than this in our current truck. Like the key fobs in my pocket, right? You can just lock and unlock the doors. This is like standard stuff. A lot of new vehicles have got something like that these days. These mirrors are pretty sick. I think with the power off, it'll still do it. So yep, they'll extend out. So if you got like a wider trailer, you can really be seeing who's on your blind spots. I was hoping it might've had the uh, steps that like were automatic. They uh, come out when you open the doors and then they retract when you close the doors. But this model did not have that. I saw a review on YouTube where literally inside of the tailgate, you pop this open and there's a speaker system. So you can just be jamming out back there, have some crazy tailgate parties, do some grilling with the power in the back. It's just, it's, it's over the top. One of the craziest things about this one though, is that, so the truck is off right now, but when you put your phone right here, it automatically starts charging and you can do Apple CarPlay on this thing without even plugging it in like a, one of our previous cars. You had to like plug your phone in to use Apple CarPlay. So this one's just like totally leave your phone there, set it and forget it. It's gonna be charging all the way down on this Austin trip. But I'm not gonna be having to like glance at my phone or use a little holder to put your phone up here because Apple Maps is just gonna be bright there. You could use Waze if that's your thing. You could do whatever you want, but Maps are right there on the screen. So I love the Apple CarPlay play on the fact that it's wireless. Apparently for you weirdos, this thing also has Android Auto. It's the towing, forget about it. Like I didn't even think the boat was behind this truck. Literally, I take off from red lights like I'm in the Subaru STI. The thing's freaking quick. The specs on this diesel model is like leaps and bounds ahead of the, the gas, of course, and like our truck is gas and it just doesn't have the same torque. It's not, it's not even comparable. Pretty sick little dash cluster, nothing that stands out too crazy, but you do have a heads up display. I wonder if I can crank that thing up and see if it'll turn on. So there we go. Now y'all can see that heads up display right there. It's showing zero miles per hour. It's also showing the direction you're facing and it will show the speed limit when you're on a main road. And so that's pretty dang sick. And so there we go. Now you can see the phone is charging with the truck running just by being placed in this little slot right here. Super dope. It stopped charging. It's about to kick back on. Boom. I know in some vehicles, the charging is like right here, but I actually prefer this spot better because they have the phone angled up at you and it's just right there, a little bit more visible so you don't have to look to your side. Probably one of my favorite features of this whole dang thing. Uh, you got full power, by the way. You can turn it on with this guy right here so that the power outlet and the tailgate will turn on. This guy, I believe, will turn on and off based on if this is green and illuminated or not. You got room for more than enough combos for all your fishing adventures. Jamming out to a little Benny Benazzi cinema. And yeah, I think it said like something like 500 miles distance till empty. Who knows how accurate that is? I'm pretty sure this thing was getting 10 to 11 miles per gallon when we're towing the boat, but it might get a little bit more. That's what we're used to though. We're used to like 11 MPGs in the Tundra and probably like 10 or less when we tow. Yeah. Y'all wanna see something else that's cool? This rear view mirror is actually just a LCD screen. So look at that. It just, it's actually a camera in the back. You know how normally, here's a perfect example. So I just angled it straight back. So look, check this out. We are like directly in the line of sight of the mirror, but you can't see us because it's a camera. So that is pretty cool. You know how usually if you're the driver, you're like eyeballing people in the back seat and stuff. Now, if you've got stuff jam packed here in the back or just like some tall folks sitting in the back in the middle seat, you're not gonna be uh, looking at them because you got, you got this. You can kind of play with it. You can adjust the brightness. You can also adjust like how much you see. You can zoom in and zoom out. I like to keep it on the wide setting so far. And you can also angle it up and down. So you can kind of get your angle right. I think I had it close to all the way down. Pretty trippy at first, but you get used to it. While we're back here, you got heated seats in the back. That is pretty killer for the winter months and when it's chilly out, let me tell you what. Got your standard cup holders and whatnot. More storage over on this side. Got you some power back here. Got you USB, USB-C. Same with the front, by the way. You got like the USB-C now and a standard USB to go with that uh, just regular power and your cigarette lighter deal. But yeah, I definitely like the layout. You got tons of room in this guy right here. I just put a couple things in there so y'all didn't have to eyeball all my goodies while we're doing this little talk here. All in all though, the layout is pretty cool. I like how there's separate compartments down here so you can keep your phone charging while you have a couple other things here, drinks, etc. cetera. Uh, toss a little phone, an extra phone here. Maybe your passenger has their phone there, who knows? You got extra room for drinks back here. Never know when we might wanna be sipping on our favorite Starbucks, maybe have a Fit 8 over here, Red Bull back there, water in that one. Gotta have the cup holders, man. Gotta have the cup holders. Wi-Fi hotspot, like we mentioned, I already got this thing connected to our phone, did that like right off the bat. Uh, navigation, it's got all the goodies, but I'm gonna wait to showcase more of the tech until we go on our trip. In the tow mode, I was like kind of curious as like the modes this thing has, but it already recognizes that there's a trailer behind the truck 
Oh, there you go. You can see some tire pressure. Here's another screen where you can pull up how many miles you have left in the tank. And then if I was on a main street right now, it'd be showing the speed limit and how fast you're going. First time in a diesel truck, man. We are pumped. And check us out too. As soon as you put it in reverse, you got your trailer, crystal clear camera view. You got the overhead view, which is pretty cool. So I'll back up a little bit. Check it out. Crazy for parallel parking, seeing how close you are to objects. And I think there's different views as well. So you can zoom into the hitch to see if you're right on the ball. Get out of here. Okay, here we go. Here's the right and the left side. So if you want to make sure how close to the curb you are or check your blind spots, you can clearly see who's next to the vehicle and the trailer when you're driving. Here is like, I guess a third person view of the truck and the boat, what? I mean, you have so many options. Like, what is all this stuff? Wow. What is even going on with these other truck makers out here? No way, there's a bed camera so you can see what's going on in the bed. You know how sometimes when you look back and you're like, is everything strapped down good? Or is all our stuff still there? What on earth? I think we just fell in love with this truck. Got you a little speaker system. My friends always make fun of it, right? No highs, no lows must be Bose. No, for real, that thing cranks. I was jamming, dude. I turned that thing all the way up. It's funny when people see you just jamming out to some metal in a Denali HD like this, they kind of, yeah, they lose their minds. Got your diesel and def fluid. We'll uh, probably not have to put any extra def fluid in it during our time with the truck. I've heard it's like, I don't know how often you put the def fluid in there. If it says it's low, we gotta stop at a gas station and fill it up. But anyways, def fluid, y'all can comment on that. It's got like the automatic tailgate. You've also got a tailgate drop just onto your remote. So if you wanna drop the tailgate, y'all saw that earlier in the video. Uh, spray and bed liner, I think is standard. Pretty dope, because when you're tossing stuff in there, you're gonna be banging up your nice paint. If it's like factory colored, you're just gonna be getting dings all over the place. I like the bed liners. If you guys haven't seen any of our videos on the boat, uh, we've had it for just coming up on a year now, actually, and I think we need to do a full year review. Let me know if you guys wanna see that down in the comments, and we'll tell you a little bit about how this thing has been for us after a year of ownership. It is a Ranger RT 188P, gonna be traveling down south to Austin with us over the next few days. We hope to fish some of their finest lakes with this bad boy right here. There's uh, maybe a, a couple cons I could tell you about if we do a full review otherwise everything has been fantastic we love the boat the hot tamale y'all rt 188p it's got the mercury pro xs 115 on the back i just figure since we're going over the automobile we might as well cover what she's towing and uh yeah the whole tow hitch thing ended up working out it's like a two and a half inch receiver versus the two so we got that adapter bing bong boom ain't no thing Devin and I have never owned a GMC or a black vehicle. And you gotta admit, like when they're clean, it's one of the cleanest looking colors out there, right? When you've got the shimmer and shine, beautiful. I'd probably just black everything out, but I do like how the chrome accentuates it. So it's kind of a toss up, right? If this was like our current truck and it was white with chrome, I'd really like to do black accents versus the chrome because then that's just more my style. But on the black, again, it just kind of stands out. I didn't do my research, so what is HD? Like are all 2500s HD or is it like if you get the Duramat? I don't know what the HD is, but I assume maybe that's like, maybe the 1500s aren't HD and the, and the 2500, I don't know. I don't know what HD is. But yeah, as long as you got the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock any one of the doors just uh, so like, let's say you got groceries or something and you don't want to get the keys out of your pocket, truck's locked, but you can press the button and now it's open. We don't have anything like that on the old Tundra, so it's a nice little step up. Oh, it's got like all these antennas up here. <laughs> it's got XM radio. We're putting the tolls on GMC's bill. Thank you guys for that, because it's a long drive and we're going to be hitting the tollways. Uh, we also have Wi-Fi. There's built-in Wi-Fi in this thing, apparently. So I'll be hopefully uploading uh, even from the truck. Maybe we'll do some off-the-grid camping and upload YouTube videos. I don't know if that's something you guys want to see. In case we get in a little pickle, I guess we can get pulled out with these guys right here. Or if someone else does, maybe we can test this thing's capabilities. Maybe you guys want to see us take this thing to the drag strip. I mean, off-road, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't think of it all. I can't think of everything. Now, the one thing I'll say we love about the Tundra is the back window. The whole back window comes down. You guys know the deal. And that is just like awesome. So on a day where it's like 70 degrees, if you rolled your front windows down, you'd be getting a crazy breeze going through the vehicle. You don't get that, but you feel that circulation. It's, it's just absolutely nuts. So we got a little rear window on here. Not a deal breaker. This thing's got so many highlights that we can live with that. Really, a lot of it is the connectivity and the features like the tech inside of this thing that we're going to be showcasing on the trip more or that you'll see like on our drive. So, and guys, I almost... Oh, speaking of the homie who we want to fish with. Yo, I mean, I know you probably got all kinds of video stuff lined up, but... Actually, no, I, I don't. Was, I mean, I was, <laughs> I was hanging my shit on my wall and I was like, man, I wonder if Weston would want to do like a tackle tour. I did it a while back and I had it up just in base. I have over 10 grand. All rock, really? Oh my God. Like 20,000. I was going to keep it a secret and just show up. But I'm on the phone with you now and I'm going to put the video out tonight so it really doesn't matter. It wouldn't be a surprise. 
Uh, but GMC hit me up and they gave us a Sierra Denali 2500 like diesel for like until April 5th to use in content. Are you freaking kidding me? During our stay, we'll just load this thing up and screw around. We got the boat, so, you know. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> awesome. The tackle yes, tour. Sir. Sounds good. Alrighty then, I'll see you, man. Have a good one. You too. Later, bud. Bye. Ooh, Jared Swag for we gonna be meeting up with him, and it sounds like we might be giving you guys a tour of his swim baits and swim bait gear, like like big swim bait gear, not 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 like little 3.3 inch saucy swimmers. He's got he's got a collection. To do a tackle tour of his wall will blow your mind. So I think we're gonna film that while we're down south. So yeah, guys, a little bit different of a video today. Taking delivery of this bad to the bone, decked out, fully loaded GMC Sierra 2500 Denali HD. And what we plan on doing with it over the next couple weeks while we have it in our hands. We locked up the Tundra for hail season and we're probably just gonna rock this thing and put some miles on it. So let us know what we should do down in the comment section. Until the next one, y'all, we look forward to meeting up with Jared, Grant, and Jay gone fishing down south in Austin, man, and linking up with some bigs. We'll catch you on those videos. Peace out. <gasps>